In this video, we will learn how to extract targeted emails from search engine like Google, Bing, Yahoo, or whatever search engine you use. So, hey guys, my name is Raman, and welcome to Webby Digital Channel. And in this video, we are going to learn how to extract targeted emails from various search engine. But we will be using a Google in this, using a free method, and using a tool called Scrapebox. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that red button to watch more videos about marketing, SEO, technical SEO and much more in this channel. So let's get started. So see, you may have a need to target your audiences and to target your their, your audiences, you need a contact address, right? And to get the contact address, you need an email or a phone number. And in this video, we are going to talk about the email part. We will cover the phone number in upcoming days, so you better subscribe to this channel. So for the email part, you may need a contact details of your target, or maybe you are from uh, tech industry, or maybe you are from a SEO agency or something like that, and you have a targeted customer base of uh, SEO agencies such that they can sign up for your tool. Maybe it's an example. So you need all the details about the SEO agencies that are actually indexed on the Google, such that you can actually contact them and tell them about your tool or app such that they can sign up and promote it for you and for that part you need a contact address right and for the contact address we will be using two ways to get targeted email from search engine first will be the free and the free part we will be using the google.com and such and a web tool called extract email so the link will be available in the description box so let's get started so see there are actually various criteria to search on Google and to search on Google there's also a way to get emails using a footprint criteria and for the footprint criteria what that criteria is using a wildcard method so what are the wildcard methods see wildcard operators like a comma or a asterisk mark or a double quote you can use that to extract details to extract data from the search engine so first of all what does that even mean see if you want urls only from the specific website then you can easily do that with this particular keyword go to the google.com select your site so in this way you will find all the urls that are actually indexed on the google using this particular keyword so you can see all the links are indexed by google from my website which is webby.com so that's how you can use such keywords or phrases to uh, extract certain type of data from search engine like google and to extract email what you need is you need a similar method like that and if you need just a keyword to extract from your searches then you can easily do that with the help of double quote uh, here you need to just enter double quote just for the illustration purposes here is the SEO so to get the all links that are tagged with the SEO you will find all searches or index URLs using that particular keyword as you can see there are millions of search results are available for the keyword SEO and for that particular part now we are coming towards our purpose of this video so purpose is to extract email from search engines so first you need to figure out your targeted keyword or targeted user base so in my example of this video i will be using target keyword of seo agency so i just want to target all the seo agencies out there i, I need a contact details of all of them the contact details may be uh, gmail.com or hotmail.com or ymail.com so if you have all the extensions with you then you can just search for it in this particular example and to do that you can just add plus to it and after adding plus to it just type out gmail.com when you press enter you will find all the details related to seo agency plus gmail.com and if you just scroll down to as you can see there are multiple gmail accounts that have been included in the meta description of this page so these are standard procedures to actually search for any data you want from that particular website and so for this part you need to what you need to do is go to the next part and here if you just uh, scroll down to, to this page you will find every details about it and in the next thing what if you want to add more extension to it like we have added at gmail.com if you want to add more extension to it, you can easily do that and to add that what you need to do is just add or here as we can see we have already done that in the previous video and here is or ymail.com and or html.com just in the same format and if you just uh, click on it and it will say or give every details about our SEO agency plus these extension why we need to add or to it because it will add gmail as well as ymail it won't add gmail 
dot com plus yml dot com so it will add more results to our search query so even if you know any other extension you can easily just type it out here in the or section and just add on various extensions you want like a proton email or uh, some mail dot com or something like that you can easily do that and if you see if you just scroll down to the end and let this particular such as go and go on and if you find the end of it what you need to do is go to this click on this page and select every data on this page and to select every data on this page what you need to do is click or enter control plus a and after enter control plus a just select that with the control plus c and after select that use this particular tool which will be available in the description box the link of this and here it is free email extracted online email extractor will extract email addresses from any source copy and paste any text html here and just click on this extract email addresses so if you have a html data or even if you have any coded data or something like that it can just extract email address from them just control p v paste it that here and click on extract email address and after you click on extract it will just extract only the email extensions out there and you can see there are hotmail there ymail there and you can just browse everything from it so that's how you can easily extract data from the google with this particular method and i hope you have enjoyed this method or if you have learned this method then click the subscribe button and you can also use their own free tool which is free email extractor software that also works the same way just you need to type a keyword to it and they will just start extracting email so that's actually the best tool available for free here you can just download it using this particular link box so but that also depends on specific criteria so you can just download this software and use it for your own use in the next method we will use scrapebox scrapebox is a scraper software which is available for mac as well as uh, windows so it's a all-in-one scraper software which you can use for the google or any other platform to scrape data from it using specific criteria so it can harvest millions of links from it and you can also find expired domains and much more using this particular software so it is said to be a swiss knife of seo strategy so if you know a bit about the seo and you must have came across this particular software and you can easily download it using the description box so it costs very less so it will be available for the lifetime license so once you buy it it will get updated every frequently so you can just go for it so here will be the interface of uh, scrape box right here if you know about this and even if you don't know about you will be able to use this particular scrape box so i won't be doing any review of it i will just go to the straight method to extract email from search engine so first thing first you need to scrape urls that match your keywords and to add keywords to this particular scrape box what you need is go to the here go to here here is the scrape option here just click on it here is this keyword scraper and after you add this keyword scraper just add two or three lines of your keywords like here i want to add a us SEO agency, US SEO agency. You can add your own keyword where here's your target keyword. And if you add that, and next is to you need to select sources. So there are multiple sources available. You can add sources from Amazon, Yahoo, and wherever you want. So if you want from the YouTube, you can also do that. But I will be selecting only from the Google. Here is the Google, Google, and if you want to add the Bing, you can easily add that. Just click on those particular search sources and click on close. And after that just click on start so it will start extracting keywords from those sources as you can see from the google suggest we have extracted 14 keywords and from product search we have already one so now you may have found your targeted keywords but it is in the but it's not a perfect you need to add it those keywords as you can see there are local keywords also like seo agency malaysia you just need to remove that you just by clicking on the remove remove selected keyword and if you have other words in your keywords it can ma it may happen like here what you need is you can remove keywords not containing any any keywords that are not containing seo just remove that also and here you can see it also remove that and there's a local here you can just remove that and if you just go to there there's also seo agency melbourne which i don't need i just need a us seo agencies just remove that and uh, there's also a berlin so let me just remove that also 
so there you go American SEO agency and how, how much do a SEO agency charge so I think that is enough for our criteria so if you want more keyword to be scraped using these keywords you can also do that let me tell you how just click on this transfer results to the left side so it will transfer result to the left here and you can use these keyword to extract more keywords how just like we have done transfer result to the left side and now just click on the start and there you go it will have started more scraping here as you can see so you can just transfer also these to the left side so i don't need that for this video because this is just a demo video so now click on the export here and then click all or save all keywords to the scrape box keywords just click on it and close so all keyword will be here right and now you can just filter that out like remove duplicates from it i don't need a duplicate from it and they, it has already deleted that and you can also remove keywords not counting like we have done earlier you can also randomize keywords based on your criteria so that's actually enough for this particular example and now we should start harvesting and if nothing is happening on your scrape box that means google has banned your ip and to use this scrape box you need to add a harvester proxies and to add that proxies you can just click on the manage and you can just add up here so if you need a tutorial about it then i will just create one for you in the upcoming days so here is start harvesting just click on it so you need to select the sources i will be using only google here so let's just start it so it will just start scraping it as you can see there's nothing is happening why because google may have blocked my ip and now to add a proxy to it i need to add a practice proxy to it and to add your proxies what you need to do is go to the manage here and here you need to add your own proxy and to test your proxy if it's working for google or not just click on test proxies and test all proxies so if you want to buy a proxy then you should check out pridedata.com and you i will provide in the link in the description box or you can also get it from storm proxies which i will also mention in the description box which is actually cheap better cheap and better than bright data so in the next case what you need to do is as it says anonymous test is passed and just click on close and in the next is go to the start harvesting again and to enable your proxy what you need is go to the proxies and use server proxies and afterwards click on the start and it will start scraping data here as you can see harvested 199 result and so on so 50 percent is done 70 percent is done and wait till it is done 100 percent and if you need more sources you can just select from the right left here and there is a lot of sources down there as you can see from the google we have got a 9 199 urls go to the now go back now close this as you, you will find all the data here and now what you need to do is go remove duplicate domains or duplicate urls you don't need to scrap each or duplicate domain again and again right and to remove that you just go to the remove and filter option here and click on remove duplicate urls and it will get deleted so we get our urls in the list is about 520 which is i think enough and now the main part is to get email from it so to get the email what we need is go to the grab or check option here and after we grabbing check option here as you can see it has grab email by crawling site so this option what this option do is this option will crawl each and every URL which you have mentioned here and scrape all the emails related to that particular or inbuilt in that particular email or URL list so afterwards grab email by crawling sites and here you will have different options here just use this use harvesters URLs so it will only use these URLs which we have harvested already and use harvested urls and then then you have an option here you can option share urls with emails obviously and here is proxy retries you can also enable and there's also you can delay if you have something like that and you have different options here right here and to start it just click on the start and just uh, stop this as you can see there are different errors here you can see a socket error connection reset by and something like that and now you can also reset that using this particular option here is the proxy retries so zero will be disabled so you should enable that like just enter one here and you can just restart it using start here so it will retry every proxy retires so let them retries and it will as you can see there are a number of emails that has been added to this as you can see 14 something like that 
and we have selected dep2 what does that mean that means if one url has been crawled then it will list all the emails related to that and the level two is it will also crawl all the internal links in that particular url and you will have more urls to it as you can see there are there were 520 urls and here is 3260 urls so there are number of emails are 18 just by now and if you want more depth to it there is actually a 20 times or 30 times depth to you can add you can add more depth to it and it will crawl the next internal links internal links and there on so you can select the depth here as you can see there are 20 emails already i will just click on the stop for now because i'm just doing it for the demonstration purpose it will take some time to actually stop that and you will see email saved as a link here let it stop let's see when it gets stopped it will get we will get all the files with our emails as you can see there are number of emails are 20 and there is a file just click on it you will file all the emails that has been published here and if you click on this data folder and there you will find all the grabbed emails from your searches so you can just filter that with the help of the dates as you can see there are different here and here is all with the dupes and without the dupes so if we click any on it you will find all the emails right there as you can see there are many emails right there so that's how you can actually use scrape box to grab email or extract email or targeted emails based on your particular keyword or a term so you don't need to add anything to or a custom criteria like we have done in the free part so you can use this particular plugin to actually crawl the urls you can add the depth to it so it will just go endless on this so until you find the specific number of emails and you can just download it to your computer and upload it to your email campaign so if you have learned something from this video you have a like button just click on that if you want to learn more with me then you can just click the subscribe button and if you want much more than that and if you want to share it to your friends you can use the share button so that's it for now so see you in the next video until then bye bye